course, Joe Biden was our second Catholic president, right? <laughs> After JFK, President Biden couldn't be here tonight. The DNC made sure of that. I understand the real reason that she's not here is she's hunting with her running mate, spending a lot of time hunting. It's a weird, 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 weird. You know the word weird. They call me weird. They call JD weird. We're very solid people. This guy is calling us weird, but this was weird that the Democrat candidate is not here and with us tonight. This message uh, goes out to Catholics. You know, I went to a Catholic school. You know, you had mass six days a week, five days before class, and then obviously once on Sunday, uh, sometimes twice on Sunday. <laughs> in a way, so I don't do the whole religion thing now. So I want to let everybody know that we're right up front. In a way, to all you Catholics out there, not enough of you are getting out and voting. And I don't know if it's because of all the fake news and all the lies that are told about President Trump. But when President Trump was in office, the Catholic Church was about to collapse in New York. In other words, they were going to close all the schools and everything. Okay? Trump got them the money they needed to stay open and to fix what needed to be fixed in the schools and what have you. Yeah, it was at taxpayers' expense. There's a certain amount of money that's like in a, a big pot. Okay, that money can be used for whatever. Mess anyway, so he saved the Catholic Church from collapsing in New York. So it shows you he is for religion. Look at the two attempts on his life. First one, man, pew, right there. Was it God looking out for him? Was it fate? His number wasn't up yet, you know. But anyway, not enough of you are getting out and voting. Tonight was the Al Smith dinner, okay, the 29th, I believe. Uh, totally disrespected by Biden and Harris. Biden didn't show up. Kamala didn't show up. Harris, she didn't show up either. So neither one of them, Biden says he's Catholic. But if you listen to, well, he's so out of it now. But a lot of what he said does not agree with the Catholic faith. So he's not a true Catholic. People use religion for their own benefit, believe me. Uh, but for them not to show up for that dinner, to me, was very disrespectful to the archdiocese and to the entire Catholic congregation. All of you that are Catholic should be highly offended that neither Harris or Biden would take time to come there is just so disrespectful. Trump was there. Even uh, oh, the shoemaker, uh, head of the Senate, I always told lies about Trump, uh, misrepresented everything, uh, Schumer. Uh, he was there. Um, when Clinton was running for president, or when he was president, I wasn't running then. Anyway, Clinton was there, and Trump was there. And it's just a tradition that goes back for years. Uh, there was one other one that missed the dinner, uh, and that was years ago. I don't remember who it was. As soon as I stopped recording, then I'll remember. But the point is, is if you're a Catholic, you need to get out and vote for Trump. I'm not telling you who to vote for like the Democrats do. But if you look at Trump's record and religion... In Harris's huge difference. Look at all the churches that were shut down during the China virus.
that was ridiculous. Churches were shut down everywhere. People needed that for their faith. There's people that go to church every Sunday. They need to feel that community that surrounds them, knowing that they're all religious. People needed that. People near, needed to hear their sermon, whether it was a pastor, whether it was a priest, whether, it, it doesn't matter. I left some out. People are going to be like, hey, why didn't you, you know. But uh, look at how Trump is on religion. Look at what the Biden-Harris administration did, you know, to the religious community. Uh, there's a Chinese church um, that we do work for, and uh, when they started doing it over the internet, the pastors, after everything was said and done, the pastor said that that really hurt them because they don't have the people come in the church like they normally do. It's a Chinese church. Uh, but they don't have the people coming there like they normally do. And believe me, they have a huge freaking congregation. But anyway, the point is, you Catholic people out there, you need to get out and vote. Then that's it. You know, Trump is pro-life. Harris wants to allow abortions nationwide, which she can't get. She'll never get it passed because Congress has to pass that law, but they're making up lies, but that's not what this is about. So anyway, if you want to subscribe, it'll be in the bottom right-hand corner. And remember, your religious freedoms. Remember, during the China virus, your religious freedoms were taken from you. A priest or minister was arrested because he gave a sermon in the parking lot. Everybody stayed in their cars, and they arrested him. And I got to be honest, if I was a cop, I would be like, you know, fucking way in hell, I'm arresting this guy. That's something you don't do. It's, it's just wrong. It's not what this is about. So anyway, uh, if you want to subscribe, it'll be in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, you got to have a thousand people to make money. Never going to happen. I'd be dead and buried. Well, I won't be buried because I'm going to get barbecued. And then my ashes uh, put in a monument that's not built yet for my dad's ashes, my son's ashes. And then eventually mine. So, anyway, I do appreciate everybody that watches my videos. Thank you.